The Oxfam committee released a report this year on global inequality and the 85 richest people, 85, own more than the bottom three and a half billion put together, which is half the planet. This is a real problem and not just for when they go halvesies on a wedding present. <laughs> America's super rich. In the last 30 years, even though worker productivity went up 90%, income only went up 8%. If I was working twice as hard and someone else was reaping almost all the reward, I'd hate them. <laughs> and I'd also want to know, how could that happen? Well, billionaire Sam Zell knows the answer to that. He said the rest of America should stop bitching about the 1% and realize they are the 1% because they work harder. Okay, now we do need to come after you with Pitchfork. <laughs> is, is talking on the phone in a comfortable office really more degrading than working in a slaughterhouse or a sweatshop or on a reality TV show? <laughs> with just one real estate deal last year, Sam Zell made a thousand times what this guy makes. Did he really work a thousand times harder? By the way, that's a coal miner, not John Boehner. <laughs> <clears throat> Did you know that during World War II, FDR actually proposed a cap on income that in today's dollars would mean that no person could ever take home more than about 300,000? Okay, that is a little low. <laughs> but wouldn't it be great if there... <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if there were Democrats out there like that now who would say to billionaires, oh, you're crying? We'll give you something to cry about. You don't want a minimum wage? How about we not only have a minimum wage, we have a maximum wage. That is not... <laughs> that is not a new idea. James Madison, who wrote our Constitution, said, government should prevent an immoderate accumulation of riches. Washington, Jefferson, Hamilton, they all agreed that too much money in the hands of too few would destroy democracy. What can you buy with two billion dollars that you can't buy with one? You couldn't spend that kind of cash if you lived forever and your money manager was MC Hammer. <laughs> <coughs> and you know, there are some billionaires today who get that. And that's why they give most of their money away. <laughs> 